Good morning. It is Friday morning. I uh, did check online and there are no estate sales or yard sales today. And I drove around just a tad bit on the way to the shop and didn't see anything. Uh, this weekend is high school, mainly college graduation here in town, but also a big fair and rodeo. So I think I'll be able to find some yard sales tomorrow morning, but nothing today. So I've answered emails and offers and whatnot, and now it's time to do packages. So let's get to it. All right, we are starting the day off with a video game. Here it is. And then we'll stop off and get a comic book. Grim Fairy Tales. Has to be a very fine which this one is all right so i can relist this one more time let's get in the packing room i'll bag and board the comic book turn on light turn on the scale All right, here we go. Grim Fairy Tales, issue 122, cover C. Nice cover. I'm trying to... I don't see a name on the cover as to who did the art. At any rate, it is a nice cover. That will go in a Gemini mailer. And I can relist. I have one more left. Tape it down so it doesn't move around and get damaged. Alright, and the uh, Grand Fairy Tale comic book here sold for $3.85 plus shipping. And it has been listed since January the 11th of this year, 2021. And when I relist the last one, I'll probably go up to like 50 cents. I'll go to $4.35 on it or so. This one will ship at the 8 ounce rate. And the other item we have is a PlayStation 3 game, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Looks like there's no instructions, but in the there's damage to the interior artwork right there. That will go in an 864 box. And this person asked me to send it to a different name and address, so they did email that through the ebay message system so i can do it and still be covered if you know in a week or two they say we never got it and i can pull up the tracking and show that this was delivered ebay can go back to their message and see where they asked me to ship it to a different name and address and i'll be covered so i don't mind doing it as long as they you know send it through the ebay message system We'll use a sheet of bubble wrap. And then we tuck in all the sides and put the roll on top. And this PlayStation 3 game <clears throat> sold for $18.75 plus shipping. And it has been listed since July 3rd of last year, 2020. 
and it will ship at the eight ounce rate as well. Okay, now we have a couple of shirts. Should be in this section here with the car shirts. Uh, okay, King's Royal, this one. And that one. Okay. These are, I guess, automotive, you know, race shirts or whatever. Eldorado Speedway. Both of these are from the same place. This King's Royal. Uh, the yellow one here is from 2010. And the green is 2017. Uh, Rossburg, Ohio is apparently where it is. So, uh, same buyer bought them both. It was late last night. I was getting ready to go home, and they made. I had them on for like seventeen seventy-five a piece, and they offered ten bucks a piece. And I thought I had shipping on these, and so I was like, "Yeah, I'll take ten bucks in shipping." I didn't. These were free shipping. I'm like, "Yeah, oh well." You know, I paid about a dollar. I think maybe fifty cents. I think it was a dollar though at a yard sale for a bunch of these. And I've sold a few of them. I mean, this is uh, probably like the fourth and fifth shirt. And these are all distressed with stains and stuff on them. I think this will have to go, yeah, I have to go priority. Uh, so, yeah, it was a little bit of a mistake. I mean, if I would have paid attention, I probably would have sent a counter off of like, you know, fourteen seventy-five dollars a piece or something. But it's fine. A sale is a sale. Especially when it's a yard sale item, you know, because, like I said, if you're turning a buck into ten, even if I, with paying shipping out of this, still making a good profit. I'm going to put these in a Tyvek envelope, obviously, and then a uh, priority padded flat rate envelope. Because they were over a pound. They were both sizes extra large, and like I said, I put distressed on there because they all, both had you know, either stains or uh, fabric, you know, holes in the fabric or around the collar was uh, just kind of falling apart. I'm trying to remember what else with these shirts, but at any rate, there they are. We don't have to weigh it; it's not near the weight limit. Our next item is one of these dollhouse miniatures okay this is the wall clock number 2552 and this one cannot move around in there so that's good we'll ship this if they can move around in their box i usually put a little piece of bubble wrap or something in there and that one does not so i don't have to worry about it we're going to ship it in an 864 box oh sorry the the race shirts here Sold for $20 with free shipping. And both of them were listed on November the 20th of last year, 2020. And so this will cost me nearly eight bucks. So basically I'm probably getting between eight and ten dollars profit for those two shirts total. And I paid two bucks, we'll say. A buck a piece. So it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. We'll use the bubble wrap here and roll this little guy up in one so he can't move and this dollhouse lot of stuff I bought a big box a year or two ago at a yard sale for like twenty dollars and I mean there were several pieces out of there that sold for twenty bucks a piece so I've been real happy with it Now, this stuff I have left is taking a while, but I'm so far into profit, it really doesn't matter. That's the beautiful thing of the yard sale stuff. Alright, so this uh, dollhouse clock sold for $7.50 plus shipping, and it's been listed since August the 4th of 2019. So I guess I've had this stuff for about two years. 
and this will ship at the four ounce rate. We have a person that bought two video games. One is a disc only, and one is missing the instructions. But these are both games I listed yesterday, and they sold like within an hour, maybe two hours tops. Uh, it is Wii Sports for the Nintendo Wii, disc only, and Super Mario Galaxy, the Nintendo, Nintendo Selects Edition for the Wii. And this one is missing the instructions. I did test both discs and took pictures of them actually working. Uh, <clears throat> we will ship these in an 864 box. Now, I was kind of surprised because this is a... Uh, whenever I list Wii games, this person always offers like within the 30 minutes to an hour. And they always, you know, make the offer and say, you know, this is my best offer. Thanks. And it's usually like half the price that I have it listed for. But yesterday on these in particular... Uh, it was only like 75 cents, I think, off of the Wii Sports and like a two dollars off the Super Mario, or maybe it was a dollar off the Mario Galaxy. So I was like, huh, yeah. Plus, I get to ship them together because I do free shipping on these games, so that'll save me a little bit. Let's see if that Wii Sports will bounce around. Nope, so we're done. So I took, because he offered on another uh, game, and it was, like, uh, a lot lower. So I was a little bit surprised by this. But I accepted the offers, and they paid right away. And so for those two games, I got $34 with free shipping. And like I said, they sold it like an hour or two after I listed them. They are listed yesterday afternoon, May the 6th, 2021. And they'll ship at the 8-ounce rate. Now we have a comic book. Adventures of Superman. Adventures of Superman, annual number 2. The Son of Brainiac. This will ship in a Gemini mailer. Tape it into place. And this comic book sold for a dollar forty five plus shipping. And it has been listed since May the twelfth of last year, twenty twenty. So just under a year, and that will ship at the 12-ounce rate. We have another video game. Uh, this time it's an NES video game. Right there. Ninja Gaiden. We got something rattling around in there, but it worked. And we're going to pick up a Superboy comic while we're here. Superboy, issue number 231, Fatal Five Will Kill a World. This will ship in a Gemini mailer. There we go. Tape it down. Uh, Superboy comic book here sold for five dollars and fifteen cents plus shipping, and it has been listed 
since March the 11th of last year, 2020. So it took about 14 months for this one to sell. And it will ship at the 8 ounce rate. Now, like I said, we have this Ninja Gaiden original NES game. Uh, the label is really badly faded. The cartridge is all real dirty. Label, this label is gone. And like I said, I can hear something rattling in there. Oh. But I did put that in the Nintendo system and it did work. And I took a picture of it loaded and working. So, I don't know if this person has the tool to open it up. And maybe get whatever rattling out of it. Or if they just don't care. They like the game and wanted to play it. But we'll ship it in an 864 box. We'll get ourselves a sheet of bubble wrap. in all these corners and put the roll on top of it so it holds it nice and secure. And so Ninja Gaiden here, even as rough a shape as it is, it's still sold for $11 with free shipping and has been listed since April the 8th of this year, 2021, so less than 30 days, and it'll ship at the 8-ounce rate. All right, now we have an action figure. There we go. Peter Chris, the Catman from the Kiss Alive series. This is made by McFarland Toys in 2000 we will ship him in a priority mail 1095 box taper box together let's put him in a tie back envelope And he was one of the higher priced out of the set. I was a little bit surprised by that. But... Okay. Now for the action figures, we'll get a sheet of bubble wrap and fold it twice long ways. And then we put the figure in. And then there's still room for the figure to move in there. So we get another sheet and we fold it three times the short way. And that really sandwiches and locks the figure in. So now there's no movement. And Peter Chris sold for $45 plus shipping. And he has been listed since March the 24th of this year, 2021. And he'll ship at the pound 15 rate. Now we have a comic book. Glory. Issue zero. Okay, this one's it. Glory, issue zero. Cover by Myrat Michaels. It's hard for me to pronounce his name. Myrat Michaels. At any rate, this is the cover and this is the issue. Let's get it taped down here. And I have an original uh, cover by Michaels that I purchased. I forget if it's a, a glory cover or not, but it's his actual art that he, the actual sketch for the cover that he submitted and they used. So, 
I'll sell it one of these days. And this comic book sold for $2.85 plus shipping and was listed on March the 24th of last year, 2020. And it will ship at the 8 ounce rate. I got something on the packing table here. So that's quite interesting. To, these two items were listed exactly a year apart and yet sold and packaged at the same time. <laughs> Just kind of neat coincidence. All right, now we have a Funko Pop. I think I need a stepladder on this. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I don't see it on this side. There it is. All right, it is Trini from Power Rangers Unmasked, number 674. She was shipped in an 864 box. And I like to use the uh, small bubble wrap on this, on the pop. It seems to, that the cardboard flaps lay right on that extra piece of bubble wrap on the top there. So your pop is not getting squished or anything. Now I list mine with box defects anyway which covers me on some creases and that kind of stuff but you still want the item to be well protected and arrive in really nice shape and this pop it must have been a best offer because it sold for five dollars and six cents plus shipping and it's been listed since july 2nd of last year 2020 and it will ship at the eight ounce rate I just sold another video game i listed yesterday the Wii Sports, the Nintendo Selects Edition. This one is complete with the instructions. I tested this disc and took a photo of it actually loaded and working correctly. And these Wii Sports are still selling like crazy. Because this one took less than 12 hours to sell. We're shipping it in an 864 box. They just now paid about a minute ago. So we are getting this done up quickly. The morning mailman has not been by yet. And so hopefully, basically within five minutes of this person paying, they will have a tracking number. And this will be on its way. Now obviously, unless he shows up in five minutes, it won't be. But it will be... You know, as long as he shows up this morning. And if not, the afternoon mail man can get it. But the point is, basically within five minutes of him paying, this package is done and ready to be picked up. And they have a tracking number. And this Wii Sports sold for $25 with free shipping. It was listed yesterday, May 6, 2021. And will ship at the 8 ounce rate. Okay, now we have a model kit that we need to do up. And it's a bigger model kit. And it's back here in the darkness. I'm hoping maybe within the next week I'll get some more uh, LED lights and put them up. And hopefully brighten this place up. It was real dark last night going through these storage unit boxes. Here it is. Ravel Roland Leong's Hawaiian uh, Charger Funny Car. As you can see, the plastic shrink wrap is badly torn. 
and the box has gotten really dirty. Somebody had a price of $40 on it. But it is in rough shape. I mean, there's no no denying that. But it is, you know, uh, the kit inside would be new. You know, no one has started it. It won't be missing any pieces. So if you want to build it, you know it's all there. But as far as displaying the box, you might be able to wipe it off and clean it up a bit. But, uh, yeah, at any rate... And this one is a 1-6 scale, so it's pretty, it's a pretty decent sized box. Uh, let me bring that model this way a little bit. Yeah, I mean the box itself, the one sixteenth scale, the box is 18 inches long and 11 and a half wide. So we take three pieces of bubble wrap and we're going to wrap it up real well. Make sure tape the sides. And I already have a box here. This is the box that my thicker foldy boxes come in. And I always keep one or two of these around. They're pretty handy for this kind of stuff. I mean, that's a lot bigger than that box. I don't know if one of the eBay boxes might be better fit. I mean, that's just as tall, basically. I mean, this one might actually... I don't think it'll do it side to side. Let's see here. This is the box that ebay boxes the 1266 boxes come in hmm? oddly enough that fits perfectly and you won't have to do any more i won't have to do any more padding so all right that worked out really nice three pieces of bubble wrap and an ebay box that your 1266 boxes come in This model kit, even as with the shrink wrap all torn and everything, it sold for $125 plus shipping. And it has been listed since March the 18th of this year, 2021. And it will ship at the three pound rate. All right, <clears throat> we are up to the minute on packages. So now I have this stack of PlayStation 2 games that I cleaned yesterday. I've got the PlayStation 2 hooked up, and so now it's time to test and photograph PlayStation 2 games, and then I'll get to listing them if we haven't had any more orders in. So I will see you when another order comes in. Okay. It's well past lunch, and I took uh, the FedEx down. Let's see, we have a couple orders. Not in there. Might be this last one. It's wherever I got... Okay, yep, the movie magazines. That's the one right there. Okay. And now we also need to stop off and get a uh, comic book. Silver Surfer. Okay. Now let's get these in the packing room. We'll get them squared away. The afternoon mailman has not been here yet. Silver Surfer. In thy name, issue number three. That will ship in a Gemini mailer. Tape it in.
And the uh, Silver Surfer comic just now sold to a, uh, I believe, a 12% off offer that I sent out. I did the 12% uh, and here in a little bit I'll do the 18s for the day. Alright, and Silver Surfer sold for $1.75 plus shipping. And it's been listed since July 29th of 2017. And he'll ship at the 8 ounce rate. The next item is one of these old motion picture magazines. 10 center. It's from October 1939. Does have writing on it. And uh, there might be pages or cutouts in there uh, with the collection of those that I bought. Some of them did have, you know, articles or pictures cut out. And I disclosed all that. And they still sell. Let's put, well, I need my magazine template board. I do send uh, these magazines out bagged and boarded. It makes them look nicer, even if they are in rough shape. Because like this one I, I said was poor to fair condition. Let's tape him into place. There we go. Alright. Now see how well he folds in there. Make sure the ends are not bent or anything. They're not. And this magazine, I believe, sold as a best offer as well that I sent out. I don't know what the percentage discount was, but it sold for $14.55 plus shipping. And it has been listed since July the 10th of 2018. And it'll ship at the 15 ounce rate. And so after I got done with FedEx, I came back here. I have a buddy having a yard sale uh, tomorrow. And I needed to clear out a bunch of crap from the garage. So I don't know if you'll remember or if you've seen any of the videos. But all this, there was a bunch of boxes piled up here. And I took all that. I took, uh, there were some boxes here, some tubs in the way. Uh, there were some tubs up on this shelf here that, you know, I've removed. There were some tubs back here. All this metal, well, not the waste basket there, but a lot of this metal here is just scrap metal. So, this stack here is scrap metal. I still need to take this little batch of furniture kind of stuff. And the shelving unit here, that baby stroller. And basically anything else, because I want to clear this out. I need to put the comic books, I have a lot of comic books, and then you put boxes of comic books on the shelving over there. And I need to put a couple of six or eight foot tables up here so I can get those McDonald's toys from back here and lay them out and figure out what I have and get them listed. I did find from that storage unit, this box I kept, and I'll list. Let's see if we can get over here in the light and I'll show you. Uh, it's all, you know, uh, whatever you call it, dishes. Uh, Franciscar Oven Safe. Made in USA, but this is what they call the Atomic Starburst Pattern. And this stuff sells really well, uh, as far as quickly. There are, last night there were 300 active listings, and when you go to sold, there are a thousand sold. And that is a small U-Haul box full. And the prices are really good. I mean, to me, because uh, like a little cup, coffee cup like that, and a saucer, I think were like 25 or 30 bucks. And the creamer was like 30 or 50 bucks. Salt and pepper shakers, like 50 to 70 dollars. So it seems like really good money. And so out of the storage unit stuff, I kept that box. And then I think there were a few just odd and end pieces that I kept here and there. But most of it, I went through looking for gold, 
jewelry, you know, or sometimes you'll find, you know, a jar of change or something like that. I just went through it real quick looking for that stuff and then kept the rest in boxes and sent it, loaded it in the truck and sent it off to him. So that's what I've been doing for today. This right here catches us up to the minute on packages. So I will see you when we have another one. All right, that did not take very long. Got another sale in. It is a comic book. It's a phantom comic book, but I believe it'll be in the uh, gold key section. Yep. So this is Phantom, issue number 17, but it is published by Gold Key. And you can see missing a piece, real bad fold. This piece would probably fall off if you read it once or twice. Missing a piece here. This was in fair condition, which is a real low grade. We will ship it in a Gemini mailer. Just like that. If it was a nice grade, you know, it gets you some pretty good money. However, even in this poor grade, uh, uh, I guess I should say just low grade since poor is a grade. Uh, poor is the grade right below fair. And so this one I listed as a fair. Uh, and it sold for $4.35 plus shipping. And it has been listed since February the 13th of 2019. And it will ship at the 8 ounce rate. Alright, we just sold a CD. Uh, part of that new and sealed stuff. I bought at the estate sale in December. Nope. There it is. CD is entitled New Faces. And then we also sold the Brother Sewing Machine. Let me get my step stool. Oh. The LX2500 lightweight sewing machine. New in the box. And uh, that sold to a Canadian buyer. It's going through the global shipping program. So I'll package it up and send it out to Kentucky. Set it down for a moment. We'll do up the CD first. It is new and sealed. The case is cracked right here. And it does have that clearance cut mark. So we'll put it in a uh, used comic book bag. And tape it. Now we'll get an 864 box. Sheet of bubble wrap. Tuck in all the sides, the loose ones, Come on. and then put this on top of it all. And the CD uh, sold for $6.85 with free media mail shipping. And that'll run me about 
$2.89. It's been listed since January the 13th of this year, 2021, and will ship at the 8 ounce rate. And now for the sewing machine. Let's see. 18, 15, 8. All right, I'll go find a box and then come back. Okay, uh, we're going to ship the sewing machine in the box that the thicker foldy boxes come in. It's the same one I was going to use for the model this morning, but I can't find a box wide enough. As you can see, this is too tall and too long, but it is just barely wide enough, so I don't get to wrap this in bubble wrap. Uh, the machine, I would have to think, is in a styrofoam block in there. And so what I did is I filled some of it up with peanuts. And now I'm just going to slide the sewing machine basically as dead center as I can. And I'm going to fill the sides and the top. And then tape it up. And this will go FedEx to Kentucky. So I will be back when we know the weight. Alright, there's the finished product. It's on the bigger scale. It is right at 17 pounds. So we'll probably go ahead and call it 19 just to be on the safe side. I don't mind padding a couple pounds. It's not going to cost really any extra through FedEx. And the box was a pretty good sized box. Uh, it is 25 by 23 by 9. So, it's going to cost a little bit to ship this, but uh, this sewing machine sold for $100 uh, with free shipping, and free shipping here in the U.S. They had to pay whatever the shipping is from Kentucky to Canada, and it's been listed since March the 18th of 2021, and that gets us up to the minute again. All right, I think that is going to do it for me today. I did get... Uh, all those PS2 games tested, photographed, and listed today. There are three that would not play, but they're all the blue discs. So I think that might be something just maybe I my PS2 won't, won't do it. So I'll keep them and test them later. But for now, I'm done uh, with any eBay stuff. I'm going to go ahead and load up another load and take another load to my buddy's yard sale and do that for the next hour or two. So I hope you all have a good night. Tomorrow's Saturday. I'm going to try to hit some yard sales if they're out. But I hope you have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.